Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about fan replacements for the S19 Pro. We had two miners go down. One miner was showing the fan spinning at 16,000 RPM, which is impossible. The fans are built at 6,000, which means we have a bad sensor in the fan. And then the other fan was actually showing below 2,000. So we're gonna be fixing these two fans. Most likely they just need replacement. This is one of the problems with the S19 Pros is after like a year, the fans, the front fans start going down. So if you think that's interesting, hit like, subscribe, hit the bell, go to CryptoLLC.org. If you're looking to set up a GPU or ASIC mining farm, right now is the best time to jump in. As you have seen, the price of Bitcoin has not gone above 20K. It's basically stuck at that price range. So if you want to build an ASIC farm, right now is the best time. Also, if you're looking for a GPU farm, also just the absolute best time. The prices are at the rock bottom. Uh, the uh, ROI on GPUs right now is not good, which means that the buying Octominers or buying open air rigs or buying GPUs right now is the absolute best time. So make sure you guys jump in. If you're looking for the opportunity to invest, right now is that best opportunity. And before we get started, Bitcoin saves your wealth and Jesus Christ saves your soul. All right, so when we go in there, we got two, fan, uh, two miners. I'm gonna show you guys those miners. I'm gonna show you how to kind of do a little fast detection. Uh, to find out which of those miners uh, fans are dead because there's four of them. There's two on the front two on the back With the S19 Pros usually the problem is the two front fans. It's most it's like 99% of the time I'll show you here. Here's the S19 Pro And these two front fans are the ones that go bad. Usually it's like the bottom one or the top one uh, it kind of switches around 50-50 which one of them goes down and the way to tell which one it is is you put like a piece of plastic into the fan just kind of touch it a little bit and if the fan stops immediately that means that's the dead fan because the other fan is still spinning at a couple thousand rpm even though the miner is not running it's still spinning at a couple thousand rpm so the other one is going to be spinning at basically zero or maybe like 500 so you can stop it with like a zip tie, they use a little zip tie. But that does not happen all the time. Sometimes the sensor in the fan is dead, but the fan still spins. So when you put your zip tie into it, you can feel that the fan is, uh, is the, you, can, you can feel the friction from the fan spinning. So you know that it's still spinning. So the other way you can tell in those situations is you look at the kernel log on the miner you look at the ID number of the fan, so there's ID fan for the first, second, third, and fourth fans. Now the third, or the second and the third, those are usually the front fans, and then the zero one is the back fans. So we know that for S19 Pros, it's almost always the front fans. But that's like 99% of the time, it's always the front fans that go dead. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go in there and take a look at some IDs. I'll show you guys around on that kernel log and then we'll try to figure out which one it is. All right, so let's go in there and look at the uh, first. Oh, you can see we're still setting up our additional miners. We're gonna place a couple more miners there at the top because we have some more lots left over. Take it over here. All right, so let's take a look at our first one. Let's grab a zip tie. All right, let's take a grab a zip tie. And now we know which one it is. It's 121, this one right here. You can see it's got that red light. To put my zip tie into this fan right here. See, it's kind of, I can feel it's not allowing me. I'm barely, barely touching it, but I can feel it's not allowing me to stop that fan. That fan is still spinning. If I put it in this one, I put it a little slowly, oh, a lot less friction, and then boom, I stop the fan. See that? So I know it's this bottom fan. This is the one that needs to be replaced. So I'll replace this bottom one, see how it spins back up. I'll replace that bottom one. All right, now let's go look at this other miner since so there's two of them. It's gonna be a 3R40. Also it's got that red light. I do the same thing. I put this in there. I get a lot of friction. It's not, it's not stopping, okay. I try this fan here. Still a lot of friction, not stopping. All right, so I can't tell by using this method. I can't tell. So how do I tell which one it is? Right? This is how I do it. So here's that miner opened up on the kernel log. And here's those four IDs. Right? ID 0, 1, 2, 3. That's those four fans. 0 and 1, those are the back fans. 
Now you can see they're spinning at 5,040, which is good. Zero two, zero three, those are the front fans. This one is spinning at 68, that's good. But this one is not. This one is spinning at 17,000, which is impossible. These fans cannot spin at that fast rate. So the sensor is bad. The sensor on ID3 of this fan is dead. We need to replace the fan. So how do I know which one it is? Well, I opened up a little example here with this miner. This is an S19J, very similar. But we know it's one of the front fans. It's this one or this one, right? And they're plugged in right here, one and two. So what we do is we just unplug one of these because we can't really trust that the manufacturer plugs it in exactly the same slot. You know, so let's say this fan right here is always plugged into this slot. We can't really trust that. We have to go off and test it. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna unplug one of these, right? And then restart this miner, go back into the log. And then when you go back into the log, either number two or number three will go to zero. It'll say zero because there's no fan at all. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to find number three. So we're gonna unplug it, see which one that is, and then we're gonna immediately go if we forgot the right one or the wrong one. And then we're gonna go, all right, we got it. And then we're gonna replace that fan. So it's pretty simple, pretty easy. And that's how you do it for these scenarios. Now, again, 17,000, that's a bad sensor. The fan most likely does spin, and I do feel it spinning. So it's not like it has a spinning problem. It has a sensor problem. So we need to replace that fan based on the sensor and the other fan based on actually the fan not spinning. Now, what do we replace them with? So we replace them with these fans here. You guys can uh, pause the video because we're looking to buy fans like this. This is the brand we buy. You can see the model number there. These fans are 7,000 RPM fans, so they're actually better quality than the fans that you get from Bitmain. So Bitmain sends you fans and they run at 6,000. You can see them here, that this one right here is at 5,040, this one's at 5,040. Know, so we know that these ones at max speed, they're about 61 points. Oh, here it is, 61 points. So that's the max speed. And this one, remember that one that I was touching that wasn't spinning? Yeah, it's the minor showing it's spinning at 15 or 60. And in reality, it's spinning at basically zero. Probably just the wind spinning it up to that one. All right, so we're gonna replace it, these two fans, plug these guys in, and that's it. And it should solve the problem immediate, immediately. We did this uh, probably like 100 times already with uh, jet fans. So once we replace it with these new ones, it immediately starts off. Um, it has that new max, max, max speed. Instead of going off at 1620, right? which is the uh, default. It's gonna actually show like uh, 72, I think it is, max speed for a 7,000 RPM fan. So we're actually gonna plug in better fans. Better fans than what Bitmain gave us when we buy the miners themselves. All right, so that's how you do it for fans. Two different scenarios, again, one had a bad sensor, the other one looks like the fan itself was not spinning. So they can both be fixed this way. Uh, this is for S19. Now for other miners like S17 Plus, we have those miners before, the fans usually never die on those. It's very interesting that every miner has its own problems. And for the S17 Plus, the problem was not the fans, the problem was the, uh, the hash boards. The hash boards are going bad from a manufacturing defect. For the S19 Pros, it's not the hash boards, it's the fans. The fans go bad after some time. Now for the S19J uh, Pro, those, those, those are different, way different miners. We are still testing them out. We got our new batch like a two, three months ago. So we don't know for sure what their problem is gonna be. But after a year, we're gonna be able to see, is it the hash board, is it the control board, is it the fans, is it the firmware, is it whatever it is, you know? So we're gonna take a look at that and see what problems exist with the S19J Pro. But that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys like it. You know what to do, hit like, subscribe, hit the bell. And uh, until next time, bye.